Star Citizen, with its stunning visuals, aspirational scope and huge budget, has got many people understandably excited to live out their own adventure amongst the stars. But more than 10 years on from the first announcement of the game, with no tangible release date in sight, many such people will be wondering, when is the game worth trying? I'm Varister, and in this video we'll explore the answer to that question set against some footage captured within the game itself. On this YouTube channel you can regularly find Star Citizen videos, including some gameplay videos, so if you'd like to see more to help you decide, you might like to press that subscribe button to let YouTube know to show you more videos like this. So is now a good time to try Star Citizen? Well, one answer to that question is yes, simply because at time of recording, Star Citizen is offering a free fly to new players until November 30th, 2022. These events, that usually happen a couple of times a year, give the opportunity to people who think they might be interested to give Star Citizen a try without spending a dime. But whilst it's a great chance to try the game, there are some things that people should know about the state that the game is in. Star Citizen describes itself as being in alpha testing, meaning it's generally accepted that there will be significant bugs for those who play the game, and not all features are yet available. Don't get me wrong, there's still a lot of gameplay to be had that's ready to play at the moment, ranging from FPS combat to spaceship combat, ground vehicles, mining, cargo trading, etc, but none of these gameplay loops are in their final form. Players getting into the game should expect changes and balancing to each of these loops. Some backers are comfortable to wait until further down the development path before dipping in, and it's fair at this point to say that you might expect that development path to take years to walk down. But there is plenty to do in the game already, especially when you're having fun with friends. Whilst Star Citizen may be an incomplete sandbox, to continue the analogy, you can still have fun flinging sand around with your friends. In fact, many would say that the reason that they're able to keep playing the game is largely due to the friends they meet along the way, and the community that sits behind the game. As with any online community, there are the good, and the bad, and that's certainly true for Star Citizen, but generally there are some helpful and friendly people out there, especially for those willing to join an organisation and play with others. For those who may be interested in trying the game, there are a couple of other caveats worth mentioning. Firstly, with the ongoing development of Star Citizen, expect to lose any progress that you've not paid real cash for. Whilst there are in-game loops and currency that let you buy and unlock ships in-game, and that's the route I'd recommend for people just getting into Star Citizen for the first time, the nature of development is such that the currency is temporary, called Alpha UEC, and is expected to be wiped and reset a few times between now and whenever the game enters a live state. Secondly, Star Citizen has fairly demanding system requirements, and because it is in a development state, isn't yet fully optimised. That means that game performance, for example frame rate, might not be what you would expect from a finished and polished game, and those system requirements might get even more demanding as time passes. After all, PC hardware now is very different in terms of capabilities than PC hardware 10 years ago. So long story short, for those willing to try Star Citizen with their eyes open to the good, the bad and the ugly, now might be a great time to dip a toe in the water. Be sure to watch the full new player guide to help you get started, and use a referral code when creating your account for a small boost to your starting currency. But for those more interested in playing a tried and tested title, with no stumbling blocks along the way, it might be better simply to subscribe to some YouTube channels and wait a few years for more to develop. That said, I'm loving playing Star Citizen right now, and I know many of you are too. I'll be really interested to read your thoughts in the comments section on this video, and while you're down there you might also be kind enough to press the like button if you enjoyed it, or dislike if you didn't, that helps me know what sort of videos to make in the future. Otherwise, and as always, thank you for watching.